long that they practice. And while the Rohingyas are the most common and we discuss quite a bit today, they are not the only type of Muslim found in Myanmar. Our purpose today is to recognize and to discuss what is happening right now to Myanmar's Muslims. The momentum of the violence and the atrocities that are being committed against innocent people, acts that are committed sometimes by armed forces supported by the government, have escalated to a genocidal level. Thousands of lives have been lost, and more than 100,000 people have been driven out of their homes and placed in concentration camps. Genocide Watch organizations have urgently noted that these crimes were committed within the criteria of ethnic cleansing and genocide. The nature of our concern goes beyond citizenship, beyond international political posturing or self-interest. We must collectively, and with a deafening voice that echoes in every hemisphere, shepherd the de-escalation of violence, move toward legal action against those who committed crimes upon the Muslims of Burma, and to bring them to justice. Scholars and experts on the subject have convened here today to discuss these matters and hopefully to resolve a course of action. With input from activists and other concerned parties who are here in attendance today, and from those who are watching around the world in the days to come, hopefully we can assemble a plausible solution. And there are things that each of us can do without financial commitment. And today, we'll equip you with information that you need in that regard should your heart be called to action. And I suspect it will. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for staying with us and for standing beside us. May our participation here empower our efforts to stop genocide in Myanmar and around the world. At this time, I would like to invite Suhil Abbas to join us up here. Suhil. So here we'll be reciting a Muslim prayer for the victims of the genocide in Burma. Please give them a warm welcome. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahmanir Rahim Maliki Yawm al-Din Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasta'in Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqim Sirat al-Ladhina an'amta alayhim Ghayr al-Maghdub alayhim Walad-Dallin Ameen Sadaq Allah al-Azim around the world, please join us in a moment of silence for the victims of the genocide. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the mayor of Culver City. Mr. Jeffrey Cooper, please give him a warm round of applause. Thank you very much for inviting me to come today to say a few opening remarks on this very, very important subject matter that's being discussed this afternoon. First off, on behalf of the City of Culver City and my colleagues on the City Council, I'd like to thank the Burmese American Muslim Association for hosting this event here in Culver City. Uh, I'm here 
of course, to welcome you to open the show, whatever you want to say my opening remarks would be, but as the mayor of Culver City, this event, and I look up and it says awareness and making people aware of what's going on in Myanmar or Burma is, is important, not only to me as the mayor of Culver City, but as a Jew, as a husband of a Burmese Muslim woman, it hits on several different levels. So anytime there's any prejudicial treatment, persecution of people by others, it hits home. And I think this event is not only important to educate us all here today, but also for us to take the messages that you hear and to make people aware of what's going on. And that's something that's important to me and that I plan on doing. So I, I welcome you here today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor Cooper. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you please join us, we'd like to honor both countries with national anthems today. Many of, many of those in attendance uh, and, and those affected are citizens or respective citizens, either in heart or by, by virtue of paperwork, citizens of either of these countries. And so we're going to play both national anthems for you now. Go ahead. 